All right, guys, welcome back. So volatility was pretty crazy. Everybody was focused on their own trading, same as me. So that's why I wasn't talking about these names as much. But next week, pretty big week, we're, yeah, we, I think in Discord, we were talking about this one way, way early. Um, and anybody who wanted to short these um, quantum names at, their, at these lows, I kept mentioning this option expiration, which is 21st of uh, March to wait until that moment because there were events coming up even though these I mean I don't know what's gonna happen anything can happen these um, these quantum computing uh, stocks uh, CEOs uh, most of them are going to talk about um, I mean I don't know how much like 10 15 minutes they're gonna just interview and stuff I don't know if there's going to be any deals um, made announced it can happen so that's the risk okay so the risk is to the upside that's what i kept mentioning and also these are very highly shorted stocks so before i dive into this stock um so you have to keep in mind so which is coming up you can go to nvidia's website it's going to start i think monday march 17th where pretty much um i don't know what is it going to start with keynote uh, new era of robotics uh, this is again this is all not only quantum so there is going to be AI computing stuff uh, Tuesday I'm not sure about all other names that are popping but quantum where we are where we are headed it's going to be happening Thursday March 20th okay just keep that in mind up until then these stocks can do whatever they want they can just squeeze they can go higher lower uh, chop around but there will be a risk on moment uh, into that date. We have FOMC as well on Thursday. So let's take a look at Rigetti. So Rigetti today is up 28%. Okay. So this is a daily chart. Uh, this yellow line on my chart represents 50 day moving average. This is what I was watching today as a possible array of resistance. So now the resistance up here would be the um, $12 or so. That's what I'm watching. Uh, and above that we have a uh, pretty much 15 i believe 14 14 50 15 these are the areas of uh, resistance i would be watching again this is for rogetti okay and i'll tell you which stock looks pretty attractive at these levels but this is the level and i have no doubt this these are going to be pretty good short setups after all those events are out of the way and also the option expiration of uh, March out of the way for overall market as well. Because if you take a look at the Russell 2000, which is IWM, uh, it's catching a bit as well. So if we're gonna have, look at where we are, we are almost like we hit, we were very close to that 20% tag where as an index, as a whole, small caps were about to fall into bear market territory, but we're not there yet. We're still in a correction phase. We can definitely pop uh, as a whole index thanks to those small caps. And Rigetti, first level, this 50 day mode average, 1160, then 12, then 14. These are the arrays I'm watching. And I have no doubt that this is going to be pretty good short setup after, okay? So next week, looking at these all names, uh, you can definitely trade in and out, but I will be personally not shorting anything that uh, is pretty much popping. So IonQ pushing has room, but the only quantum name uh, that has a potential for a breakout and possibly uh, like looking like a better setup than everything else right here right now to me is the um, D-Wave quantum, so which is QBTS which has 1050 as a resistance if it clears that level well there's no overhead resistance for the stock i mean sky is the clear i don't know how far it's going to go but i'm going to be watching that particular name uh looking attractive to me with a capitalization of 2.7 billion is it large is it small it's up to you but this is anything like 2 billion three four i mean nowadays it's it's small cap so watching it to the upside and also there are many many other names so let me take a look at the qubit quantum stocks qbtc 49 percent today uh i'm not sure about grrr which is 
Gorilla Technology. So anyway, this is these are all my small cap. Qubit, this is another name. But you can see like by looking at the chart where the resistance is. I'm gonna show you the Rigetti one. Even Soundhound was catching a bit today. The nuclear names, because it's an AI. This is, there's going to be a lot of events, okay? APLD, uh, what else out there? Lunar, BBAI, is it catching a bit, a little bit? Yeah, slight a bit. Uh, NNE. and uh, So this is for, for Getty. So if you take a look at it, there is a, there's a resistance at these levels already. So the big orders, number three, number five. Again, this is just a large order volume leader. So by looking at this price action from the yesterday, the day before yesterday, I think a little bit of an accumulation was happening probably by smaller traders because these trades were not large, but relatively for the last, um, well, seven days, that's what I'm fil filtering, uh, were, yeah, decent buyers were coming in. And again, these are not large orders, three, four, five million dollar orders. But if I zoom out and take a look at the large, um, like this whole run up into a Rigetti, you will see where the largest orders came in. And these levels usually act as sort of um, resistance, okay? And stock doesn't like to stay above that, those levels uh, too long. You can see uh, the largest orders ever number 10, number five, and, um, and the uh, size of those orders, okay? So for Rigetti, very solid resistance for me would be somewhere around these levels, 14, 1450, if it wants to go up to these levels. Again, I don't know if, uh, if Quantum is gonna have much of a gas in the tank, but up until that event, if overall market, we can see today volatility VIX has uh, cooled off a little bit if Wix is going to come down cool off next week and we just we don't have to go up we can just chop around and if Wix declines yeah people will have a appetite for those small cap names to trade okay but just don't get in love with them because I'm pretty sure into April they're going to be all uh, very very good fail setups all of them Ion Q, all of them, I have no doubt that these stocks will trade in the next few months much lower than they are right here. But short term, as a trade setup, these have a potential to run up, push higher. So that's the video. This is not a buy or sell recommendation. I'm not telling you to buy or sell. This is purely for entertainment, educational purposes only. So quantum event next week, NVIDIA. So watching all of these quantum names uh, to the upside. So that's the video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.